Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano. Who is this? Who is Ahsoka, and why is she so important? If you don't know who Ahsoka Tano is, you're missing out. She is one of the most important characters in the Star Wars universe. She played a vital part in who Anakin Skywalker was. She played a key part in starting the Rebellion. Now she is playing a key role in finding Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Ahsoka show coming out August 23rd. This video will be broken up into four parts. Part 1, Ahsoka's childhood. Part 2, her Padawan ship under Anakin Skywalker. Part 3, her citizenship after leaving the Jedi Order. And Part 4, going over the years of her rebellion against the Empire. We start off in the year 36 BBY when Ahsoka is born. She was born on the planet Shili as the species known as Togruton. She quickly discovered her Force abilities at the age of one, taming a Rack Shear. Soon after this, the Jedi Master Plo Koon discovered Ahsoka and brought her to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. This is where all of her time would be spent and be trained by Master Yoda himself. She would be trained by Yoda until she reached the age of 14, and then Master Yoda pawned her off to Anakin Skywalker to be trained by him. Anakin did not exactly take lightly to having a new Padawan, especially at first, saying that Ahsoka could only slow him down during missions. Things would quickly change, however, as Anakin would start to recognize and have respect for Ahsoka based off the similarities and recklessness. Anakin would come to gain even more respect for Ahsoka whenever she would save his life on more than one occasion. Ahsoka did not agree with the Jedi on how they view love and attachment. She did not understand how they were supposed to be compassionate to one another, yet forbidden to love, which plays a part in her not trusting the Jedi on down the line. Especially early on in her Padawan ship to Anakin Skywalker, she would get herself in trouble on multiple occasions due to her hard-headedness and stubbornness on trying to take on enemies bigger than her. These enemies would consist of General Grievous and Asajj Ventress early on in her career. Ahsoka's stubbornness slowed down after she disobeyed orders in the Battle of Ryloth, and it cost her the lives of most of her squadron of clone troopers. As one would expect, Ahsoka learning how to disobey orders came from none other than Anakin Skywalker himself. However, there was one thing that always left Ahsoka trapped in places Anakin would not get trapped in, and that would be experience. Anakin put Ahsoka through much more intensive training than what other masters would do for their Padawan, such as her having to defend herself from clone troopers shooting at her from every angle. This plays a big part in her survival during the years to come. In the Mortis arc in the Clone Wars, we see an older version of Ahsoka blaming her younger and more reckless self for Anakin's eventual fall to the dark side. Ahsoka would come to ignore this and other signs of the darkness within Anakin because of her trust for Anakin. Also within the Mortis arc, we meet some Force-like god beings known as the Father, Son, and Daughter. The father embodies balance between light and dark, the daughter embodies the light side, and the son embodies the dark. To keep this story short and sweet, basically Ahsoka gets killed by the son, then the daughter revives her in place of her own life, the daughter then appears as a convoy called Morai, follows Ahsoka, and keeps watch over her. Ahsoka learned how to survive on her own when Trandoshan hunters kidnapped her and put her on, on the Trandoshan moon, Wazka. Here, she led other captives to safety as well as herself. This helps Ahsoka learn more leadership qualities. These newfound leadership skills would help her later train younglings on Onderon and help more younglings compete the ritual called the Gathering, in which younglings are to go to the planet Ilum in search of their kyber crystal to build their lightsaber. The Clone Wars would bring Ahsoka closer to not only her master Anakin Skywalker, but also another Padawan student named Barriss Offee, who was trained by the Jedi Master Luminara Unduli. Later on into the Clone Wars, Ahsoka is framed for bombing the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. As she flees to the underworld of Coruscant, she is finally captured by the clone troopers. Brought before the Jedi Council, she is expelled and eventually brought to trial. Just in the nick of time, Anakin finds out who really bombed the temple, which is exposed to be Barriss Offee, and helps Ahsoka get her freedom back. Barriss Offee's reasoning for bombing the Jedi Temple was that she believed the Jedi had lost their way and got too caught up in politics during the war. This plays a role into Barriss Offee 
falling to the dark side. Ahsoka gets offered to come back into the Jedi, but she declines, thinking of Barriss' reasoning for them being too political and not the Jedi known as Keepers of the Peace that they should have been. In leaving the Jedi Order, she leaves her lightsabers behind, which also devastates Anakin. Ahsoka learns that Maul is on Mandalore and rejoins the fight as a citizen and not a Jedi, helping the Jedi try and capture Maul. After they figure out the plan for the war, Ahsoka has a touching moment with Anakin and he gave her her lightsabers that she left behind. That is quickly disturbed by an emergency alert stating that Chancellor Palpatine is captive to General Grievous. Anakin and Obi-Wan head to the Battle of Coruscant, which takes place during the very beginning of Revenge of the Sith. Ahsoka goes to Mandalore in search of Maul and eventually finds him. Ahsoka and Maul have a talk about the fate of the galaxy. Maul gains Ahsoka's trust in trying to take down Palpatine and end the war. However, Maul tells her Anakin is the key to everything, which causes Ahsoka to distrust Maul, thinking that Anakin would never turn to the dark side, which leads to them dueling. Ahsoka captures Maul and everyone is partying, except the party doesn't go on for very long because Palpatine does his signature move. Execute Order 66. Using the skills Anakin taught her, she is able to survive Order 66 and help get the chip causing Order 66 out of Captain Rex's head. Left with no other choice, Ahsoka frees Maul as a distraction. Maul wrecks the engine of the ship and escapes leaving Ahsoka and Rex to face off with the entirety of the Clone Legion ordered to Ahsoka. Ahsoka and Rex finally find a ship not under maintenance and are able to escape leaving all the clone troopers inside the crashing and burning Venator class Star Destroyer. Out of respect for the soldiers they fought in the war with, Ahsoka and Rex bury the dead clones with their helmets as their tombstones. She leaves her lightsabers behind, this time to fake her death. At this point in time, Ahsoka was on the run from the Empire, hiding in the Outer Rim. Her undercover Elias was the name Ashla. She didn't go very long without drawing the attention of an Inquisitor known as the Sixth Brother. She makes quick work of the Sixth Brother. She then takes the crystals from his lightsaber and purifies them, turning them a white color. After this, she agrees to the deal Bail Organa offered her, which is to join him in fighting for the rebellion against the Empire. This alliance network, built by Bail Organa and Mon Mothma, is known as Fulcrum. On her adventures with the Ghost Crew from Star Wars Rebels, she is reunited with Captain Rex. Ahsoka shows she's still got it when she easily handles two Inquisitors at once, saving Kanan and Ezra, the two Jedi in Star Wars Rebels. Not long after this, Vader learns of Ahsoka's survival and vice versa. On a Sith temple on the planet Malachor, Ahsoka's worst dreams come true. She encounters Vader, and Vader tells Ahsoka that if she gives them the information that they need, meaning Vader and the Emperor, that the Emperor will show her mercy. Denying this offer, she now fights her former master. Then you will die. This fight nearly leads to Ahsoka's death. However, Ezra in Season 4 of Rebels finds Ahsoka in the World Between Worlds, which is a place that is between all time and space in the Star Wars universe, and pulls Ahsoka out of that fight, saving her life. Their reunion is quickly interrupted by Emperor Palpatine. While escaping Emperor Palpatine's grasp, Ahsoka promises Ezra that she will eventually find him again. This leads to the conclusion of the show Star Wars Rebels, which shows the Empire's fall and Ahsoka still going her own path, claiming not to be a Jedi yet keeping their ways or how they should have been. This also shows us how Ahsoka meets up with Sabine in order to find Ezra. Years after the show Rebels takes place, we pick up in The Mandalorian, which shows us how she infiltrated the city of Caladan on the planet Corvus to locate and defeat Morgan Elsbeth in order to find information on where her master, Grand Admiral Thrawn, is. She does this to find Ezra, who is with Grand Admiral Thrawn. In an attempt to save his home planet of Lothal, Ezra captures Thrawn using the Purgle, which are basically these big space wells that can go across hyperspace, and this takes them into the unknown regions, which is why Ahsoka and Sabine have to go find Ezra. Now that you know the key moments in Ahsoka's storyline, you can now watch Ahsoka, the Star Wars show coming August 23rd, and have an idea of what's going on. 
If you have made it this far in the video, thank you for watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me as Star Wars is a passion of mine and I love making content so far. To each and every one of you watching, I hope you all have a blessed day. Jesus loves you all and may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you.